Hi from Banks for Bubbles, and these are my favorites for the month. So I'm going to try to keep it pretty short and sweet. Obviously, we were at Disney at the beginning of the month, so a lot of them are Disney-related. Sorry if you hate Disney and you're sick of hearing about it, especially if you're over on my other channel, because I basically have had a month's worth of Disney videos, but it's winding down now, I promise. And I'm just now getting to switch gears to, like, gift-giving and things. So I do have a couple gift guides I'm coming out there. They're just for fun. And gift aways are starting the first week of December, so I'm excited about that as well. So, of course, I was at Disney World. Disney was a favorite. I love these little ears. I love these little sparkle ears. And I want them in a bunch more colors. Just to let you know, because I did, I think, post a video about it and post about it on Instagram, I did end up choosing the pink Morning After Clutch from Rebecca Minkoff. It worked really great. The size was definitely a lot better. And I have a little, like, opinion piece that I may post up still. I haven't posted it yet. But it was an opinion piece about why I choose not to use quote-unquote expensive bags at Disney World and why I may even start buying bags specifically to use at Disney that are not quote-unquote designer. So it's just a little opinion piece. You don't have to agree with me. I was just going to put it out there, especially if like for people, if we're searching for like ideas of what to bring with them, what my opinions on handbags at Disney World were. Um, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt because I know everyone here loves their designer handbags, but it's just my opinion on it. But I did use this. The size worked a lot better than the mini, and I loved the pink. So thank you for your input, for sure. And I got a number of questions because people were asking what that lip color was on my lips in the vlog in downtown Chicago. I did actually end up purchasing that, and I'm losing my voice today. Sorry if it sounds funny. I'm losing my voice today. But anyhow, I did actually end up purchasing that, and I forgot to show it in my haul. And the color is number four blush is the name of the color. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I really love the texture of this Burberry lip gloss. And here's what the box looks like. If you want to know what the box looks like, you can find this at Nordstrom. And I love, love, love this color. So again, the color is number four. And the color name is blush. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it's a great, great color. I really love it. Um, just really, really natural. I really love them. I've also been using my Dior lip glosses a lot, which I think are all down in my purse. But then also, these Disney lip glosses, after I was using my Dior glosses, it hit me what glosses these reminded me of. These remind me of Dior glosses, which is kind of a major deal, considering these are like 3 for 33 And Dior glosses are... $30 a piece. So if you like Dior glosses and you like Disney, you may give these lip glosses by Disney Beautifully a try because I'm really liking these. I'm enjoying them. And it's fun that they have the little pictures on them as well. So that's also a favorite. I've also been very into scarves this month. And yes, I got the scarf at LV also. This little guy is cute because he's got the little Mickey faces on it and I don't know. It's just subtle and goes with my whole Disney craze right now. So that's awesome. Also, to do with my Disney craze, I got these little pouches. I believe I showed them on my Bags for Bubbles Instagram. And this little one, the smallest one that came with the set, is just adorable. It has this little Mickey charm on the pole and has Minnie Mouse bow. And I've been using this actually in my purse to carry all of my cosmetic items. And this is just really cute. It was perfect for going to Disney World and I'm kind of just taking a break from all of my LV and Balenciaga and all those. So this is what I'm using as my cosmetic bag in my purse right now. Are you sick? seen Disney items yet. So non-Disney items, I thought I would just mention this real quick because if you've been following me for a while, you probably already know that this Miss Dior Cherie is something I go to every fall and every winter. One of my favorites and I've gone back to using that. So that's definitely a favorite right now. And then also these Tory Burch Eddies with the little bows, the sparkle gems on them. I've been using these a ton and loving these as well. And other than the jewelry that I've talked a lot about and I've been wearing a ton, these Alex and Ani bracelets, I want linger, yes, they're Disney, um, but I've been wearing those. But I also have been loving these little bow earrings, and I'll try to do a close-up, um, from Henry Bundle. So these little bow earrings from Henry Bundle have been a favorite this month. They're just really cute and subtle. And I really like how those look. And also, this bracelet from Takari. I got this at our local jewelry store. I really like this. In fact, I may look for some more bracelets from Takari for Christmas or put it on my wish list. I've really been liking this one. This one's Amethyst. And I really have been disliking the simplicity of it. And I really like the color of it, too, because it's purple. Anyhow, that is my favorites for November, which was a huge Disney month for us because, obviously, we were at Disney for a good portion of the beginning of the part of the month. 
But I'm now starting to turn my thoughts to the holidays and getting ready to decorate. So let me know if you guys have any holiday requests over here on Bakes for Bubbles. I'll be vlogging the whole month on Be Mommy with Style. I'll be doing vlogmas over there, showing my holiday decor and all those sorts of things. So what I thought I might do for this channel is show you my holiday decor in my purse room. It would just be a little bit, but I thought it'd be kind of fun just to share the updated purse room. And it's all disastrous right now. <laughs> kind of get rid of the shopping bags. But anyways, um... I thought maybe I'd do an updated purse room tour, maybe an updated purse collection tour, and kind of let you guys see what's going on with that this month in December, because it's getting ready to be here very soon. So hope you guys had a great November, and I will see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye!